Hey, what's up, guys? Courtney with Simply Vegas. It's a little windy out here, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, but I'm back over at the Hayford Collection to share with you another one of the plants here that Pulte's building. This one's called the Shelby. It's a three-level home, uh, and it's a big home, 4,820-plus square feet, depending on the options that you select. Uh, it's got three-car garage, has a game room downstairs with a full bedroom and bathroom, almost like a full-on apartment in the uh, the first level. But you guys will see as we uh, head inside and take a look. The first thing I'm going to do, however, is talk to you about the exterior of the home, kind of give you the uh, ins and outs of what's included in the base price, and then we'll head inside. So if you guys are ready, let's go. All right, guys, so this is the front of the Shelby. So it's a three-story home, so you've got stairs that walk up to the front of the house. So this is actually the level that you actually get into the home from uh, the outside. But if you're driving into your garages here, you've got your two car and your, uh, your third car here, uh, you'd walk into a bedroom space with a game room and then you'd go up to get to the living space. So uh, the exterior itself, the, the things that are included are your front yard landscaping with drip system, uh, your paver walkway and driveways, and then you've got coach lights as well that I believe are on a photo cell. And there's a total of three elevations at this community, a, 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 B, and a C. This particular uh, elevation is the C elevation. That's pretty much it for the front. Let's head inside and see what they've got for us there. Hang tight. All right, let's check out the Shelby. This Shelby's a tri-level. You've got, so this is gonna go up to your second story, of course. This is your bottom level, your garages and so forth. Let's start down there. You guys can hear me fundle down these stairs. All right. So the first thing that you come into contact with, hang on here. Oops. Sorry about that. All right, now I gotta get my life together. So, this is your game room, okay? Very big, 27, six by 14, six. And that, actually, this is what I like about this design. I'm, you know, I've got bad knees. I can't walk up and down stairs. So I don't like that part, but the part that I do like about homes like this is that you've got all this space down here for entertaining and for, even if you have like guests from out of town, I mean, it's suited up, you've got your, bar area over here. You've got all this extra cabinetry. You could probably put a fridge down here if you needed to, but almost a living room space down here. And then you've got a bedroom that we'll see in a minute. Um, but so just so that you guys know, so this slider is uh, included in the base price of the home. And we'll look at the backyard here at the end. at the option. There's an option for a covered patio, but I don't think they've done one here. But so let's go down here and take a look at the bedroom. So before, actually before we do that, so this is where you come in. This is the garage door. Okay. So you park here, you come in. Um, this is going to be underneath the stairs. And I'm literally still standing up as I'm walking here. That's how tall it is. Plenty of space for storage. Okay. Here, I think this is an additional storage space. Yeah, so you've got a coat closet here, then you've got more storage. Pretty nice. Let's head this way. So there's a bedroom back here and a full bath, which is awesome. So here's the closet. It's attached as a big, in fact, I would have put, I put another row here to hang stuff in this closet, but that's me. But here's your bedroom five, and it's a big room, 1511 by 148. Okay, that's a king size bed. Tons of room in here. And there's another, oh, okay, now I get it. So I've got another closet over here too. So that other one's auxiliary. There's two closets down here. This would be great if you have guests, if you want everybody to have their own space, because you've got this bedroom, but you have that area out there you could put a Murphy, not a Murphy, but like a, 
a sofa sleeper out there and uh, you could probably have a family of four down here comfortably. Uh, so this is the bathroom that's attached. This is bathroom number three. They've opted for the uh, just the shower, which is an option with the seat. Uh, it comes as a standard with the tub shower combo. But if you just want the shower, that option's available to you. Okay. Let's fit this way. I want to point out this, and I showed you this bar area earlier. This is an option. I want to be clear about that. It's not included. But I think it's money well spent. If you're going to have this big space down here to hang out with, you're definitely going to want like a bar of some kind. Not necessarily for drinking, but you know, place for fridge, for dr snacks and drinks and whatnot. Let's head up upstairs. Let's check out the second story. Hang tight. All right, so this is level number two. And the first thing we hit, let's go this way. So the first thing we come into contact with is going to be your den space. Very nice, 14 by 12, big room. Oh, they have a closet in here. Yeah, that's where your coat closet is. And so as far as options goes, keep in mind, if you guys need more privacy here, there's an option to uh, put doors here, French doors or double doors, so you'll have an extra bit of wall here and here. And you'll be able to enclose this room completely. Pretty awesome. Let's go around the corner here before we head into the kitchen. So this is going to be another storage area here. So if your friends have lots of coats, <laughs> this is the house for you because there's like 10 coat closets in this place. This is going to be your powder bath. It's going to service your guests. And just as a standard, the ceilings in this house are nine foot. You've got 12 by 12 tile at the entry in the kitchen. And then you've got vinyl, sheet vinyl at the, all the bathrooms and at the laundry. Uh, sheet vinyl, of course, is just like linoleum, is what people usually call it. So this is the gathering room, living room, whatever you want to call it. The fireplace over here is not a standard, that's an option. <clears throat> now this slider right here is an op excuse me, is a standard, but there's an option to have a bigger 12 footer. So I think it would start right about right here and span to probably about right there. It'll be a 12 foot meet in the center slider, which I think would be a good look here, especially considering the fact Let's just go take a peek here. I'm not going to walk all the way out there because it's a gazillion degrees outside and I'm in the suit, man. On second thought, let's go out here and take a look. So, you've got enough space there, obviously, for a sofa and a couple end tables. You really could do a, uh, another seating area over here. So there's a lot of room. This is a big balcony. Very nice. Let's head back in. Let's head towards the kitchen. So a couple of things about the kitchen. So the standard countertops are going to be granite. You're going to have a uh, six inch splash. Okay. And you get a choice of two different colors, which I don't know what they are, but that's okay. Uh, and as far as appliances go, and I'm actually excited that they modeled this. So this is actually their upgraded 48 inch range. This is kind of like the top of the line, uh, what they offer at this community. Uh, but as a standard, you'd get a five burner cooktop, you'd get the hood, uh, you'd get a microwave and oven right below combo. And then you get your, where's your dishwasher? Then you get your dishwasher over here. Okay, that's what would come as a standard. So you'd have to pay for your own refrigerator, uh, but that's it, everything else is included. So keep that in mind. Let's head towards the pantry there. Big pantry, looks like it goes all the way around now. Yeah? Lots and lots of storage space. Not bad. And then they've got this cafe area, which is basically just like your eating, dining area, of course, casual dining. 
Now this particular elevation actually has a balcony up front. They all don't though. Um, we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later on when I'm talking about. In fact, you'll, you'll hear this in the beginning of the video. I'll talk about this in my intro. I just let the cat out of the bag. Yes, I video the inside first and then I do the outside. Now you know. Anyway, let's go upstairs to the level three and see what's up there. Hang tight. All right, this is level number three. That's your primary, but let's start with these secondaries first. So as a standard, let's just stop right here real quick. So as a standard, normally you'd have a storage space in here, but they've opted for the suite option. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here as we come around this corner. I'll come back to this other stuff here in a minute. But so this bedroom is bedroom number four. Normally this would just be a bedroom with a walk-in closet in this corner over here. But what they've opted for is the suite option. So what that does is that puts a full bath in here, okay? With a shower, you can either, you can of course do the tub shower or shower, we all know that. <clears throat> but then this space over here that's now the walk-in closet would normally be storage that I was talking about on the other side of that wall. So you'd be able to access it from the other side and store things here. But if you want this suite, it turns this space into partly bathroom, partly walk-in closet. So if you need that bedroom, there you go. You lose that storage, but uh, you gain the bedroom that you need, okay? Let's go to bedroom three. Oh, they got this Jimi Hendrix pillow. I might have to come home with me. Don't tell anybody. I like this room. So you've got a walk-in closet in this one. Decent size, yeah. That's bedroom three. This is a big room too. It's a 11, eight by 12, 10. Doesn't feel tight at all. Nine foot ceilings in this home throughout, if I didn't mention it before. This is gonna be your bathroom too. The double sinks on your vanity are included. This is the standard tub shower combo, but we all know you can do a full shower if you just don't want that tub. Okay. And this is bedroom two. So that bathroom serves all these secondary bedrooms, which is why I think that suite is a good idea. So now you only have one bathroom that has the service, the two bedrooms, as opposed to three. If that one uh, room has its own bath, it kind of eliminates the bathroom problem. All right. You've got a walk-in closet over here too. Okay. I think this is probably going to be a linen closet. Yep. So there's your linen closet for your secondaries. And this is your laundry room. None of the cabinets, as we know, are included. You'd get a shelf across the top here where the washer and dryer goes, and the washer and dryer are uh, sold separately as well. They're not included in the base price, nor is the sink as well. So basically the only thing you get in this room is a shelf. Three and a quarter inch baseboards throughout this home, by the way. That's gonna go up to your rooftop deck. We'll get to that at the very end. But here is your primary bedroom. Oh, I like the space of this. This is big too. It's 19 foot by 14 8. You've got your closet over here. Not small at all. Oh, it even goes. So you've either even got some under. Uh, stair storage from your uh, rooftop deck. So a little bit extra space there for storing stuff. It's a good looking room. I really do like this. Let's see what the bath looks like. So this is your primary bath. So this is the standard configuration standalone tub and shower, but you can opt for just the giant super shower all the way across. Although that standalone does look good. I think this is gonna be a linen closet over here just for your 
primary. Yep. It's deep too. Look at all that extra space between the shelves. Hang your vacuum, you know, those stand up vacuums, you can hang it in here. Keep it out of sight, right? And then of course you've got your water closet. So that's it. You guys ready to sweat with me on this uh, 7,000 degree rooftop deck? <laughs> Hang tight. All right, so this is it. The rooftop deck. I've got two couches up here, two coffee tables. This is a lot of room. I'll tell you guys, I've lived in Las Vegas for almost 38 years. 38 years this month, actually. Uh, you're only going to use this rooftop deck a few months out of the year. It's just way too hot. And in fact, I've seen people kind of install poles and, uh, and put those sails up so they can get some shade. But it is way too hot up here in the summertime, in the heat of the summer. We're in August right now. But the view is amazing. And at night, like the strips over here, you can't see it right now, but I'm sure it lights up. That's the, uh, the south co coast over there, south point rather over there. But I'm sure it looks amazing at night. You've got the Raiders uh, practice facility over there as well. So there's a ton to see. The M's over there, lots of mountains. So really neat, cool feature. Let's go check out the backyard. Hang on. All right, so we are outside and there's not a ton of options here. In fact, I don't think there's any for the backyard. On the website, they didn't show a patio, but I bet you there's one for here. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's probably one for there. But I do know one thing. There is an option for a slider. That first bedroom I showed you on the first floor, bedroom five, has an option to put the slider instead of the windows in that room, which I think is a really pretty cool idea. So keep that in mind. But that is it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in this home or any other home in the Las Vegas, Henderson or North Las Vegas areas, definitely reach out to me. My contact information will be in the description and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.